You might recognize this space. Today we are at the Midway Project and we're going to talk about floors. This is a topic that we get asked a lot of questions about. Questions like, how far away should my rug be from the wall? Can I layer a rug on top of my wall-to-wall -wall carpet? Can I layer two rugs together? Do I put all four legs, two legs, no legs of my furniture on my rug? So today we've teamed up with the Carpet and Rug Institute to answer a few of your most frequently asked questions about carpet and rugs. Let's talk about carpet. So I like to use wall-to-wall -wall carpet in bedroom areas and cozy lounge spaces. For me, a low pile Berber or a low pile shag is the way to go because those are styles that span the test of time and they work really well with a lot of different styles of furniture. Another reason I love a low pile carpet is because it makes it really easy to layer a rug on top of the carpet. And I like to use rugs on top of carpet because in the bedroom it makes it really nice to anchor the space, ground the room, and add a little bit of color. Plus, if you have kids, wall to wall carpet makes it a great, like, healthy, cozy spot for them to like run around, crawl, jump, and it's a really soft place to land. As much as I love hardwood floors, I personally really love waking up to the feel of carpet on my feet. And one really great bonus is that it makes a healthy living space by keeping the allergens out of the air. So how many furniture legs do you put on a rug? This is a question we get asked all the time. The traditional way is to put all four furniture legs on the rug, but I prefer just to put the front two legs. If you don't put any furniture legs on the rug, it makes the room feel really disconnected. Let's talk about spacing for a second. So we follow a 12 to 18 inch rule and that allows us to make sure that the rug fills the space, but it doesn't cover all of the flooring underneath. I love hardwood floor and tile, but it's really important to me to have a home feel cozy, and we do that by layering rugs in pretty much every room of the home. We'll put one by the kitchen sink, we'll do a runner down a hallway, we will put them in dining rooms, living rooms, and even we'll add a little cute rug in a laundry room. When we're designing houses, yes, it's about making them look absolutely beautiful, but it's just as important to make them feel comfortable too. Carpet and rugs make such a big difference in your home. 